keep your eyes on turnovers with Texas Southern early in the game. They've had problems not taking care of the ball. How about Joe Munden, who was able to high step his way to the basket? It was so important to the school that they raised a banner in their gymnasium. 2 0, make it 2 2. And that's where Texas Southern have the advantage inside, so we'll have to keep our eyes on points in the paint. Oh, Dimitri Roberts for three. They get control. Almanar gets to the basket, no good. Rebound is taken down by Barnes. Loose ball, picked up by the Knights. Set a turnaround jumper by Sean Moore. 7 2 score, FDU on top. Nice shot fake by Roberts, heading to the basket. Kicks it out. Here's a three for Moore. It's good. It splashes it home. And he's got five early points. And Johnny Jones calls a timeout. It is interesting, though, Avery, to watch that there's nobody in the paint unless they're cutting. A three. It's good from on sideline. Joe Munden. What FDU lacks in size, they make up for it. And ball handling ability, skill. And that'll end the 12-0 run. And John Walker the third. No, but I love watching FDU play offense because the ball always finds the open man. Mm -hmm. Here's Nicholas. He can't finish, but the cleanup is there by Barnes. Some of the bigger Texas Southern Southern players just keep the ball moving, spread the floor. That's where they're going to make money. Speaking of making money, off the glass is Barnes. He has four points. 7-0 run for Texas Southern to get back within reach. Quick drive, quick pass, and the foul more. Count the bucket. Wow. They give it to Multi. He takes a three, tries to back it home, no good. Offensive board, loose man underneath, and he lays it in. It's Chris Craig. You'll notice Almanor, that's his game right there. That's an assist. That's an assist for Almanor in that situation. It's not going to show up on the stat sheet. Solid screen without moving. Nice finish by Roberts. Meanwhile, the opposite ends. Chris Craig has his second bucket for Johnny Jones. They were picked, they were picked to finish first in the swag. You're talking about saving your best for last. That's what Texas Southern has done this year. Especially P.J. Henry, you know, he missed a seven-game stretch where they were one for six. He was how sorely about, missed. How about that beautiful feed? Reynolds to the basket. Now you see FDU in the zone. That's the middle of the floor. That's the soft spot. And Farouk slides right through that soft spot and lays it in. And he made, because I made $25,000. So if you show it, maybe people will look for that Google commercial. I'll make more money. Now, if you would have said a three-point shooting contest, that would have been different. It feels like they should, they should have a wider lead. Barnes, and he leaves it for the slamming Carl Nicholas. And now you can see Texas Southern's best defender, John Walker on Moore. DJ Henry has it blocked from behind, but the cleanup is there beautifully by Nicholas and a timeout called by FDU. And I agree with Coach, a great neutralizer, turnovers. And Munden slides right along the baseline and lays it in. That was kind of easy. The other team, five out spread the floor, dribble drive, back cuts. Almanor up top for three. Yes! You're zoning to a man. You gotta mix up your looks against this FDU offense. If not, that's going to consistently happen. Well, he's got eight points. He just hit back-to-back three-pointers. It's gonna be an isolation for Dimitri Roberts. Slip, pick, and roll. Crossover with three on the shot clock. That's a two-point field goal. It's the largest lead of the half for FDU. He averaged 16 and a half last year in Division II. Texas Southern and the answer, aggressive athletic move by John Walker. If he was a DJ, he would be mixing up a lot of different songs and genres on that crossover. <laughs> well, he's taking a breather right now, singles into the basket, and the layup is good, a quick burst of speed. Well, this is a 16-2 run for FDU. Walker nearly has a cutoff, but that's a beautiful extra pass to David Barnes, who slams it home. FDU's de defense and their defense against FDU's offense, just to get a clear idea. They got to get out of Singleton when he's that deep against a very good Texas Southern team. But the one thing I would say about Texas Southern's body language, they're not really complaining, no. they're still playing. 
so he's very capable. Almanor for three. It's good. He picks up right where he left off for the first half. He has 11 points. Yeah, Tobit Anderson said Almanor taught him a lesson because we talked about it before where he, he said he could not play in this system and he proved him wrong. Nicholas with the first buck. Barnes covered by Roberts. There's a little screen. Barnes for three. It's good. Actually, it's a two-point field goal. He was just inside the line. Henry to Walker. Walker, a little help defense. Walker, oh, he's so athletic. Count the bucket. And he's fouled by Emmanuel. Everybody's touching the ball. Roberts step back. Free throw line. Jumpers. Good. First field goal since there was 1841 to play. A program called Be a Champion which uh, helps bring healthy meals to kids in the Houston area. Barnes gets that one to go off the front of the rim. They forced seven turnovers in the second half. They haven't really been able to capitalize. Dillian hopping to the basket, got position off the glass. It's a 10 point game. First bucket for him. And Multi trying to steal that one. Mundy going to the basket, got the bucket. Joe Munden has 17. I mean, it's great rep representation that Mary Max able to do what they're doing. Walker in the paint. Walker, that's a good shot. They found some space. Yeah, I love John Walker the third. Singleton, extra pass to Emmanuel. Jump stop and good. What a fundamentally sound. Played 15 minutes in the NEC conference tournament. Finals. And Multi finally gets a three-pointer for Texas Southern. The clock is their friend, so they'll move it around and try to start making, start taking a shot inside of eight seconds. Singleton with 11 on the shot. Look, he saw an opening and he converted. He has 13. 9-1 as far as three-point field goals go. Walker slices right to the basket. He has 18. Four minutes to play here in the second half. Almanor, he's got a three as well. Wow, this is a shooting exhibition right now. 325 left to play, second half. Almanor feeling it. Oh, that's good too. How about that? They are just connecting left and right, 23. Yeah, the, the highs and lows of a NCAA basketball season, it has an effect on family. In today's game, Walker right to the basket. Little kiss off the glass. He is 22. Man, his ball handling and hand eye coordination. Look at the elevation on that shot. 17 footer. FDU, for the second time in school history, has won an NCAA tournament game. They win it 84 to 61 in Tobin Anderson's first trip to the dance.